Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we have to talk about the Pentagon because the Pentagon has an artificial intelligence that can now predict the future, kind of. Now, here's what's going on. I thought this was absolutely fascinating. It's coming from Yahoo News. Now, the Drive reported that U.S. Northern Command recently completed a string of tests for the Global Information Dominance Experiment, or GIDE. Uh, basically, that's a combination of artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and sensors that could give the Department of Defense or the Pentagon the ability to predict, quote-unquote, days in advance. And that's according to Command Leader General Glenn and Van Herc. Now, this could lead, obviously, to a major change in military and government operations. It could also lead to a major change, uh, basically, in how they are interacting around the globe as they are predicting future events. Now, the machine learning uh, system basically observes in raw, real-time data that hint at possible trouble and then acts upon that. So, for example... And this is the example that was given. If satellite imagery shows signs that a rival nation's submarine is prepping to leave port, the artificial intelligence could flag that mobilization knowing the vessel will likely leave soon. Military analysts, uh, basically human beings, can take hours or even days to comb through that information, but the GIDE technology could actually send an alert within seconds and basically alert the military, according to General Van Herc. Now, the most uh, in the most recent dry run, GIDE, IDE 3, I'm guessing that's version 3 or run number 3, that is the most expansive run that they've had yet. It saw all 11 U.S. commands and the broader Defense Department use a mix of military and civilian sensors to address scenarios where contested logistics, quote-unquote, such as communications in the Panama Canal, might pose a problem. Now, the technology involved wasn't strictly new, according to the general, but the military has put everything together to make it rather holistic. Now, the platform could be put into real-world uh, real use relatively soon. General Van Herc believed the military was, quote-unquote, ready to field the software and could validate it at the next globally integrated exercise in the spring of next year. Now, the advantages for predictive AI are... Obvious. I think it's rather obvious here. Instead of merely reacting to events or relying on outdated info, meaning hours or days old, the Pentagon could take proactive steps like deploying forces, ramping up defenses. Maybe that submarine is gearing up and we know, so we start gearing up our submarine to make sure we're equal in the water, whatever that looks like. It could also provide an opportunity for the civilian government, uh, according to the general, and he didn't provide examples on that, but this could help politicians call out acts of aggression while they're still in their early stages or at least alert uh, you know, the oversight that Congress has on the military because it does have civilian oversight and allow them to make informed decisions about what we could potentially do. Now, there are obviously still limitations to this as it's artificial intelligence. The AI is basically looking for out-of-the-ordinary clues such as a greater number of parked cars or aircraft or whatever imagery and sensors it's picking up. It can't say for certain what is happening, humans still have to be heavily involved in that decision making at this point, which I think is probably a good thing. Even so, this technology could be worthwhile if it prevents a quote-unquote surprise attack or if it leads to, let's say, negotiations instead of conflict, meaning, hey, we see you're spinning up, we're going to spin up too, let's go to the bargaining table and talk about this. And I think these are uh, some really interesting things. I don't think anybody, especially on the military side, wants fully autonomous artificial intelligence. We've actually seen experiments with drones being fully autonomous where they can fly, identify the target, and make the decision to basically shoot at the target. And that's something that I don't think anybody really wants probably outside of the military in that sense I swear as I've said a million times I am probably only one of the people on this planet that has actually seen the Terminator and here we are now I don't think that the military is building Skynet here but I like the fact that that it's alerting to say hey this is kind of unusual let's put human eyeballs in on this to to basically look at this now this could help with Things like preemptive attacks, assuming the analysis is correct, and again, assuming the analysis is correct, or preemptive action like negotiation or bargaining or the ability to alert a rival to say, hey, stand down, we know what you're doing, uh, you know, as they're doing it in the very early stages. So I think this actually has an opportunity to really help with, let's say, the peaceful side of what the military does by basically saying, we know what you're doing, and believe me, we will hit you back, so let's not hit anything anytime. At the same token, the last thing you want is a false positive. 
negative meaning. If there are too many parked cars in one area, does that mean that ISIS has flooded an area with car bombs because that's the conclusion the AI makes and the humans reinforce? That's the question. And so while I think it's interesting and promising technology, any any time we see advanced technology and weaponry applied in a military setting, there's always a little cause for concern. But providing that it's used for something peaceful, meaning a de-escalation as opposed to an escalation of something, I think that's never a bad thing. It's the last thing we want is a world at war ever again. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please stay private. Thanks, everyone.